Welcome to Thursday's Tips. Today we're going to talk about Office 365. I know a lot of you are already using it. That's fantastic. We're thrilled about that. It is the best tool for creating and storing documents here at school and at home and being able to access them here back at school. But we want to give you some tips. There's some beginner tips. There's some more advanced tips. There's a couple of different things we want to talk about. So hang in there. We'll try and get through this pretty quick. First, we're going to talk about how to get to Office 365. If you've noticed that here at school, our home homepage occasionally will change, um, but you can always find a link for 365 right here on the school page, or you can type in this handy portal.office.com and get directly to your login screen. Did I type it right? Yes. <laughs> portal.office.com. When you're logging in, you will use your com school computer username followed by at students.hcboe.net. And I didn't end up typing that in. Um, your password is the same thing that you use to access, yes, your computer username at students.hcboe.net. Make sure you put it in exactly like that or you won't be able to get in. Um, your password is your lunch number. It's the same thing you use as your password to get on a computer here at school. Once you're in Office 365, we recommend you go ahead and go to OneDrive most of the time. Um, that is where your files live. Okay? If you've created a file and you're trying to get back to it, go to OneDrive and you will find it in the list. Uh, we're going to really quickly just show you how to make a Word document. From this screen, you click New, Word Document. We recommend that you always go ahead and name your document. First okay? thing, just yes. name it. First thing, just click on the top black bar where it says Document and type in Start what you're doing. Uh, we're going to call this Analytic Essay. As soon as you click back in the document, it's named. You don't have to do anything else. When you look for it in the OneDrive, that's what you're going to look for. It's going to have a name, and it's going to be in alphabetical order. Right, and notice how it says saved here. It automatically saves for you, so you don't have to worry about saving it yourself. That is wonderful. Um, next step we would recommend is go ahead and go to Insert, Header and Footer, and on this right side right here, put your last name. This is kind of tricky because... When you get out of header, you will not see it again until you go to the print preview screen. But it's there, and it's going to be there on every page. So when you print a document with 20 other people in your class and you come to the printer, you know which ones are yours. The right. three with your name on them. Yes, it'll be great. Um, also, things you might need to do if you need to change the font or font size, right here is where you would do it. Don't go larger than 12. 12 is pretty standard font. Um, if you go 14, 16, 18, it looks like you're trying to, you know, stretch your essay out too much. Um, most teachers also want you to double space. You do that right here, um, the line spacing icon, click on it and click a 2. And then when you're typing, it will just automatically yes. double space for you. It's really super easy, but that's a question we get a lot is how do I double space? Um, say you worked on it a little bit and you needed to go away. You would close that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Close all the way out. But the yeah, good news you're is going you back, back in, in, right? It's a, it's another day. You're, you're going back in. You can either click this link or again portal.office.com um, and get back. But you would not go to Word. You would go to your OneDrive and find it. Oh, look, there it is in the list. Okay. To work on it again, you click on the title of your document. See, look, there's your name that you couldn't see before. Click Edit Document, and you usually want to use Edit in Word Online because it will keep it in the browser, and it will keep automatically saving it for you, and you won't have to figure out how to get your changes back into your OneDrive. Just Edit in Word Online, um, and then you can work on your, your paper until you're done. If you need to share it with your teacher, you would click this blue Share button, and then right here where it says Invite People, you would just type in your teacher's last name, Okay, so you're going to share it with me. Um, make sure that it is actually your teacher and not some random person that has their same last name. You can tell because it says E-H staff. E -H staff. Yes. Click on their name and then click share. You can, you can choose to <laughs> uncheck require sign-in so they don't have to sign in themselves. That's, that's an extra step. 
Um, but even if you don't uncheck it, they'll still, they'll get, still it. get it. They'll just have to log in. Um, okay, so you've shared it with your teacher. Also, we recommend that if you could share it instead of printing it, that would be more environmentally friendly. You know, and when you make it, if you needed to say make a change, then they would get that updated document without you having to print it out again. Um, and teachers, if you need to see where a student has sent you a file, it's going to live in the OneDrive. So again, that was that icon with the clouds under shared with me. You can see everything that's been shared with you. Students, you can share documents with each other, and this is where you would find a document another student had shared with you. Say you're working on a group project, you can do exactly what we did with sharing with the teacher, just put in the student's last name, and then you both can edit that document at the same time or at different times, and you don't have to send it back and forth. You're just working on literally the same document. Yeah, you never have to reshare it. It's always going to exist in their OneDrive, and any update you make is going to be reflected in their OneDrive. It's very yes. handy. Yes. Do we need to say anything else? I think that's, that's pretty good. The only thing I would say is that if you are trying to edit it and your choice is online or on a word that has a computer that has Word, the only reason you really make that choice is if you need an advanced option. Right. So if you're struggling with a formatting issue or something like that that you don't really understand, you can talk to us and we can walk you through it. But Word Online is the best because then it just automatically saves and you're good to go. Right. And if you are at home and you are super struggling, um, remember you can send a message to the That's East true. High Library Facebook page. Ms. And is on it. She I, gets those messages. I see those messages. And if you're at home and you're having trouble with Office 365, you can use direct message to the East High Library Facebook or the it, at MHHSE Library Twitter or Instagram. Um, if I get a message from you or Schoology, you can look me up on Schoology, send me a message. Our phone if gets I'm, all the things. If I'm awake and you have a problem, <laughs> you can ask me and I will do my best to right. help you out so you don't have to struggle in silence. So remember that. And I think I think that's everything. I think that's it. If you have further questions, again, ask us. Thanks so, for hanging in with us. Yes, see you next week.